I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023 30RK QS Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino. This is a two-slide rear kitchen model. Um, actually, the big brother to the unit I just made a video on, which is the 28RK QS. So, identical in the rear. The difference is in the front. This has a bed slide, whereas a 28 does not. So, a little bigger unit, um, again, with a bed slide versus a traditional uh, non-bed slide bedroom. So, 30RK QS. Uh, actual stats on this, 7,749 pounds and 36 feet one inch from tip to tip. So again, this area, if you've already watched the 28 RK, to my knowledge, uh, there's nothing different. If it is, it's minor versus our um, front, which is very different. So up here, we're going to have, again, a bed slide. So our bathroom to the left and then our bedroom in the front. Of course, again, this is the main difference. We have a bed slide up here, a lot of space. Um, you've got storage above the bed. We have a, a bed with nightstands on both sides. Storage below the bed that is easily accessible. I'm also accessible from the outside. These are actual queen beds as well in Puma. Um, there's outlets on both sides. Um, you've got, actually I want to make sure there's an outlet on this side. I know there's one on that side. Uh, outlet on just that side. That's why you always check before you say something like that. Um, outlet on that side. And you've got a bunch of storage at the front because of the way um, this, this bed is oriented. So a traditional closet here, uh, four of these, where there's a closet rod, there's a shelf above as well. But you can see like that, that's a really deep um, storage area, nice big closet. And then to the right of it is a more um, a unique closet. It's set up for a washer dryer stack. But if you don't wanna do that, like most people don't, then don't worry about it. Just make it a regular closet, put your own shelving in, or just make it where you hang clothes. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff with it. The point is, it's just a really big closet. There's a lot of storage space up here at the front. Uh, this unit has two airs. Uh, we have a second air here. This is not the main air, but a second air that is uh, a free blow air. So maybe you want it really cold in your bedroom at night or you just want, want a backup you know, for redundancy in the system, so to speak, or you need it for cooling, whatever. You've got a second air here. Uh, one air that is ducted throughout the unit, including the bedroom, as you can see, uh, is located in the living room. So we'll see that in just a second. Notice the floor space. There's space along the sides of the bed, which makes it easy to make and get into the bed. Space at the foot of the bed, which is nice just for general navigation or changing clothes. Um, that's not always the case. Uh, be sure to, to look at that when you're looking at a, a bedroom. Um, you have storage at the foot of the bed as well, a nice window, and then a TV hookup on the wall there. Also notice there's an actual door to close the bedroom off versus a slider or a uh, curtain. And then our thermostat for our main air is located here. And here's our bathroom. So really nice bathroom. We have a linen closet uh, with lots of storage in that. Nice shower, more like a more like a fifth wheel as far as having the seat in it. Uh, full plastic surround with shelving, uh, big skylight, glass shower doors there as well. Foot flush toilet. And then we have a sink with storage below and a medicine cabinet with storage built in as well. Also notice the skylight and the roof vent um, in the bathroom also for additional light. Now we're back to the kitchen living room area. So one huge slide on that side. Both slides are on the, the uh, driver's side of the unit. Very spacious, triple seating area in this. So we've got a uh, sofa here. That's actually a trifold sofa. So you have an additional bed there if you need it. Theater seats were directly across from our TV. Both of those are options. And then the booth uh, for additional storage and for an additional bed if you do need it. Um, around our, our sofa, you've got a window, you've got an outlet above, more storage above, more storage above the theater seat. On our windows, do notice we do have roller shades versus uh, cloth shades or um, metal window blinds. Uh, foot flush, uh, foot flush, my goodness, flush floor. There we go, flush floor slide, no step up. Sometimes I'll see a slide here where we have to step up six to 12 inches, not the case here. Puma does a, a flush floor slide, full three foot deep slide as well, so not a shallow slide. It's a uh, full height uh, for the size of the unit and it's a rack and pinion. So they didn't cut any corners. And in my opinion, the best slide that they could have possibly put in the unit as far as the mechanics of it as well. Storage below the booth, you can access that via the cabinet doors uh, versus having to take the seats and the seat, uh, the wood seat plank up. You can easily access that. Uh, big windows here. Notice we do make this. Uh, it gives you some ideas on uh, just what Puma does that we think makes them stand out from other products. So I'll stop and you can pause this. All right, we'll keep going. Um, across from the theater seats, we have our fireplace, sound bar, 
nice big countertop, big window to look at your campsite, and the TV above that with storage on both sides of it. Here's our ducted AC in the middle of the living room. And then along the back is our kitchen. So great countertop space. It's a deep cabinet, uh, which means deep countertops as well. Uh, stove and oven, we do have both of those. Uh, we have a triple burner stove top as well versus a double. Uh, a medicine, uh, excuse me, spice rack at the back. That tile backsplash along the back wall. Also a sprayer on the pullout sprayer on the faucet. A uh, big sink here with uh, dual sink covers, two windows also as well. Lots of storage there, 12 volt refrigerator, 10.7 uh, cubic feet versus a smaller gas electric. And there's no need for LP or 110. And we've got a big, big pantry at this back corner. Deep shelves, lots of them, floor to ceiling storage. Really, really nice addition to this floor plan. And that is the interior. Let's go outside. Take a look at some more stuff there. All right, so on the outside of this unit, four right step above steps uh, with quick adjust feet, my favorite brand of steps. We have the big uh, grab handle here at the entry door. There is a window in the entry door also. Extended season package. Uh, we can also zoom in, you can see all the different things that has. Note most notably the, the enclosed underbelly with heat. A big electric awning. This unit has a awning that covers a massive portion of this side of the unit. Um, LED lights in it, outside speakers, uh, tinted windows, outside TV hookup right here. There's a little mount on the side if you chose to use that. Uh, fresh tank, that's where you, uh, that's for your fresh tank fill. Uh, you've got your dual gas and electric water heater here. Little mini outside kitchen. Uh, specifically, they call this the micro. So you've got a fridge, griddle, and then a spray port here for water. All electric stab jacks. So four electric stabs and uh, then electric tongue jack on the front as well. Ladder on the back, Puma still does that for easy roof access. 50 amp service, or you can just go to 30 amp like we are right now. Um, you got already got on the back a, a spare tire mounted. Here's our rack and pinion slides. You can see those. Again, my favorite style slide as far as operation and troubleshooting. We have a uh, tank back here. This is the drain point for the rear um, kitchen tank. Access to storage below the booth. One of the things I love about Puma is their ceiling. They seal all their slide frames. They seal, uh, seal all their windows. They seal the corner moldings. Most products use foam or putty. They even seal these, use foam or putty. Uh, that's just not a long-term long -term solution. So still gotta maintain these, but it's a whole lot better head start than a lot of products. Black tank flush, city water connection, outside shower on this side, termination point for the gray, and black. There's another random one you can see running up there. That's for that um, washer. If you had a washer, there's a tank for that. I know most people are not going to use that, but if, if you are going to use it, it does have its own tank, which is nice. And then storage below the bed, which is accessible from the outside as well. Uh, more storage access here. And now we're back to the front of the unit. So two LP bottles. Little diamond plate down there next to rock guard. Um, power tongue jack also as well. And that's access to that storage, uh, the washer dryer closet in the bedroom. So I'm gonna zoom back in real quick. 2023, uh, 30 RKQS Puma Travel Trailer by Palomino. There's a link in the description that will take you to our website that has all sorts of pictures, uh, specs on the unit, details on options, MSRP, pricing, all that good stuff. Or you can call or text our entire family with the number 270 two four seven eight one eight seven um that goes to everybody's phone so we appreciate it very much my name is colin fitzgerald thank you again for watching arrowhead campers youtube channel